like a lot of the anxiety especially when you are on your own is oh do I manage and I'm the only one who hasn't figured it out but <laughs> I mean we all have to figure it out on the go Okay, we need to talk. I just want to put this out there because I feel there is so much misrepresentation of traveling in the internet and I always see those influencers that seem to have figured it all out and it's all like, you know, glossy sunshine and rainbows and it's absolutely not. I'm currently in Japan. Um, I'm traveling alone. I have planned everything on my own. I have booked everything individually and you have shit days. And yesterday was a shit day. It was raining all day and I was just not feeling it. And I feel it's so important to talk about that, that is it's fine to just give yourself the grace to not feeling it, even if you are on a trip of your lifetime. And I've been talking about this trip for 10 years now. And I'm so grateful that I'm here and I'm so happy. And I was staying in the room. I mean, I went shopping a little bit in the morning and then I was completely wet and soaked. And I can tell you, um, this, my hoodie is still trying to to get it completely dry before I am um, have to check out here and move to the train station. But it's a different story. I was drenched, I was cold, I was miserable. And then I decided I just go with the flow. I have a nap and then I do a little bit of editing on my laptop and then I go out in the evening and have some dinner. And a bad day is not ruining it's not ruining your trip a bad day is a bad day but if you can give yourself some grace and also listen to your body and um, just take it as it comes I feel that makes a difference and um, for myself I have the feeling that this trip is truly truly remarkable and life-changing even after three days because in the past I was always stressing to get the most out of it, pushing myself, um, trying to live up to expectations that were not my own and I feel I can enjoy myself more if I just go with the flow and I just take it as it comes and I, I, I can I can just feel how anxiety is like leaving leaving the leaving the chat basically. Um, I've never been so relaxed and at ease on 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 any of my on 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 any of my other trips. I'm I'm completely at ease. I'm not stressing about the train. I'm not stressing about timetables. I have to check out till 11 today. This is completely fine. Everything is already packed. Um, but I feel so peaceful and content and just, just happy. I, I cannot even put it in words. It's, it's, um, it's amazing and I think like a lot of the anxiety especially when you are on your own is oh do I manage and I'm the only one who hasn't figured it out but um, <laughs> I mean we all have to figure it out on the go I mean this is the thing about traveling um, if you are going to a different country, I'm again, I'm in Japan, I have to relearn the easiest things here because I'm not used to, you know, how the process is, how, how do things work here. Um, I spent hours on working out the train system and how everything is going. I mean, I don't even have to think about public transport at home. But here it's a different story and things are working different and I think this is 
this is the main part of going on a solo trip you are learning constantly you are learning constantly and this can be very frustrating because the like the simplest things things that you are doing every day in your life at home work different and you feel stupid and frustrated because you don't know how it works and it might go wrong and i feel this is where you just have to let go it's fine you don't know it but i can also tell you everyone else also doesn't know it as especially when you go somewhere for the first time but i can also assure you you will figure it out very very quickly and um like the learning curve is very steep <sighs> traveling can be frustrating and traveling isn't always fun and the question why why are you doing that <sighs> it's not even for leisure um i think like the motivation for traveling is is something very individual but for me it's a sense of absolute freedom and i i feel i'm here and i'm on the go and i'm doing it and i feel i can breathe freely and <sighs> this is just something so unique and um probably different for every everyone um yeah but i wanted to share that with you because um i think it's important to also share the like not so great moments and the the moments where you are a little more quiet and not like overjoyed and it's not all you know sunshine and pancakes <laughs> so yeah thank you for listening to my little rumble if you want to watch my japan vlogs I will link them below and I will see you real soon. Bye!